Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here and it's a lovely Sunday. A bit cooler now, thankfully, while we have a break in that really, really hot spell that plagued us over here in the UK. I'm here today to do a product review of something that I've recently purchased from Craft Stash UK. Or is it just Craft Stash? Well, it's the, the online store. And it is another of the Studio Light Essential Dyes. And I have done a couple of things to share with you, but I am really, really pleased with not only the value, but the quality of this Essential Dye set and wanted to share it with you. You can see the look of it. There is... it's. There is one main piece, and that is this piece. I don't know if I move that out of the way, you'll see it. And this makes, makes up the base for your project. And then the dies that are remaining are dies that fit into the um, main body of the die. And then there's a stitched cut area that you can also utilise to mat and layer. Or you could use it to make tags. Anything you wanted to really. It's very versatile. I've only used it for the first time today. But I have got other ideas that I know will come together quite nicely on it. And then you've got the same scenario on this bit here which is a fold up bit if you want it to be and again you've got another um, two dies there two cutting cutting dies so all in all there are seven dies in the set which I thought was really very very good I am very um, into the studio light dies I have been for some time the quality is always very very good but there are certain ones now that are coming out that are real project busters so as long as you've got this die you can you can make a lot of different things with it and that's what I'm tending to go for some of them are very very intricate but I like the simplicity of this. If I turn it over, you will see here there are, this, this is the one that this die is, but then there are several other ones that you can purchase if you'd like to, to um, use for your projects or whatever you feel they're liable to turn their hands to, basically, because there are so many components in most of them, they can crossover for other things and this is how this particular die looks when it's all folded up so I'll go back to it again it is metal dies very very well presented they come on the backing like this which has got the adhesive on it to hold it in place the downside of them is that they are not easily stored but if you keep the packaging you're safe enough. So I'll put that over there and show you how they look when they're cut out. And this is it. You actually get these fold lines within the die cut, which is brilliant. You've got your stitched edge on the flap here, and then this serrated edge or scalloped edge for that pocket. And then if you fold them in and score them, that is how you end up with your little envelope, something like this. So that would fit into journals. It would be a freestanding. This is 300 GSM card and it cut through it like butter. And not simply because it's a new die. It is how these dies are supposed to be. They're, if they do get a little bit... Um, worn then the same principle applies as it would if you were using a hand punch 
you can cut it through foil and it will just lift those little edges up again to sharpen them but all in all a really really nice shape to start to work with now what I've done on the project that I've got here to share with you is lined it I've used the 300 GSM card. I've also used another scrappy doodah from Artie Mays and just decided that that is how I'm going to decorate this. It opens and it opens and in the little pocket here I have made some faux stamps which came out really really nicely. I just think they're so so pretty again this is a lot of scraps there's nothing um, majorly used to make such a nice project those are the three stamps and then in that from another sheet of Artie Mae's stuff I have done these little postcards that are backed again in the 300 milli milligram, 300 GSM and you could obviously add photographs to them if you wanted to use them for journaling it would be entirely up to you how you uh, used this little project if you decided to make it it would make a lovely gift for someone you know it, it really is so so pretty I've used the gold mirror board and that is essentially just to lift it up a little bit make it look a little bit more luxuriant the pocket uh, is anchored with the red line tape but this patterning goes right down through to the bottom in case you were wondering these three then sit in there like that and it doesn't um, prevent you folding up the pocket to make it look really really lovely and then on the other side there is the open aspect of the envelope so you can see it really can be quite beautifully decorated to make it a very very lovely gift so that is from that shape into this project and it actually means that you can get two cuts from an A4 sheet of paper so that gives you an indication of size but I will measure it for you so that you get it um, proper so to speak so that's five and a half and if you take it from the point of the envelope down to the um, bottom here you're looking at seven and three quarters in length so you could you know actually use that as a freestanding page on a journal just leave that open fold that up anchor it at the back here and then you have a really nice page that will unfold in a journal quite nicely so that was the idea of that and then I got my thinking head on and I thought well I wonder if it if it would work as nicely with that concept but using papers so what I did was cut out two layers of paper one is a coffee dyed uh, sheet like this and I have spritzed them with shimmer I have decoupaged a napkin onto the side there done a little bit of stamping nothing too much and very very discreet it's not um, terribly in your face so to speak on the flap here I've got another little snippet of the um, serviette and it's just a little butterfly but if you then look at it this way it would make a really lovely 
journaling page that doesn't have to be free and open for everyone to see what you've written. I've put one of my faux stamps up in the corner here. I have glued together with um, a glue stick and then done a little bit of stamping here just for interest but it's nothing that would stop you from writing over it apart from the stamp bit here and then it would just fold up really nicely and just fit into a pocket and that is just the two sheets of A4 copier paper so I managed to cut two out of those. This is how it looks when you start out and it's lined with the white and that is what I chose for the inside of this little bit of decoration. But I thought what a lovely, lovely way of adding to a little gift or just sending that out with a little note to a friend on it in amongst happy mail and it still could be used you know for further pro projects or for a little keepsake I just think it's really really lovely and hope you do too um, again it, it is all down to the die which as I say I bought from craft stash it's still in stock as I understand it were you to be interested but obviously these things are quite limited and so they tend to go out the door very very quickly and what I'd like to do for people that watch this video only please um, is send I will watch comments and select someone to send out this little gift to in the hope that it would inspire and um, just please whoever's welcome mad it lands on once it's gone through the letterbox and that's open to all comers that's my international friends my subscribers and you do need to be a subscriber please but if you watch this video just comment below and say that you would like to be considered for the little giveaway and I will make a list and you know pick someone from the comments it won't be a generated thing I won't advertise to say who has won this if it shows up in someone's feed because they've won it and they want to film it, that's entirely up to them. But this is just a little gift to someone who is kind enough to watch and um, comment that is essential below this video. So thank you very much for sharing this time with me. As always, I will leave that in evidence so that you can see exactly what I've used to, to do the review on and to do the little giveaway in thanks for people watching this video. So take care everyone, stay well, bye bye for now.